Bonjour à tous, bienvenue dans... Hello and welcome to Business Planet, this week coming from Prague. In this episode, we look at the European funds available to small and medium businesses and how they're used. How do they enable SMEs to innovate and grow? Take a look. Regardez. It's five years since this company, specializing in the manufacture of pressure vessels, decided to diversify. It successfully applied for a grant from the European Regional Development Fund, an investment of almost 900,000 euros that allowed it, among other things, to first design, then bring to the market a biomass boiler, the first of its kind in the world. So we are the only one who can burn the whole bales of straw without cutting, which saves electricity up to 157 kilowatts per hour which is our competitive advantage. So this Czech SME was able to branch out into the green energy sector. The grant enabled it to fund research and development and to train employees in new techniques. Ultimately, diversifying opened new and significantly foreign markets for the company. It also meant it could maintain staff levels in a region hit hard by the economic crisis. In 2009, we were 46 employees and we grow up to 51 employees today, uh, which is not a significant figure, but despite of the crisis in 2009, we are one of few that survived in this region. So, on what basis were these funds granted to this SME? What did it have to do to qualify for them? Let's find out. The grant stems from the EU's Cohesion Policy Investments Initiative. Between 2007 and 2013, some 70 billion euros have been invested from this fund. It supports 70,000 startups and has created some 250,000 jobs in SMEs. The funding is in the form of grants, loans and loan guarantees, which are given out if the applicant meets certain criteria. They must have a background in business, their application must be linked to an EU-supported activity, they must have a good business plan and clearly defined objectives. If you're an entrepreneur seeking to access European funds, there are contacts to get you started in your region or country. Chambers of Commerce and Industry, for example. We provide information and advice to our members, but also to other entrepreneurs on the European structural funds available. And we also guide them so they don't feel lost going through the process. To me, the key to success is to have the technology, the product, the money to innovate and invest, and to have people to develop our unique technology. <laughs>